Hello YouTube, this is PSB Slim Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to do boot Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, meaning that you could run both operating systems in the same hard drive, in the same computer. So uh, if you watched my previous video, how to do boot, that was just like like a video on how to do boot any operating system basically. And this video is just going to be about how to do boot Windows 7 and Windows 8. It's basically the same content but I just like to redo videos to make it to make it better than the previous video so uh, it's basically the same concept like I said so you're gonna go to start you're gonna right click computer and you're gonna click manage once the computer management window pops up you wanna click on disk management in the disk management it's gonna show all the hard drives that that are currently in your computer and also your USBs what you wanna do is you wanna go to your C drive and if you actually want to keep Windows 7 and Windows 8 for good I suggest you to have a 500 gigabyte hard drive uh, and the reason is because um, right now I have a 135 gigabyte hard drive and it's not going to be an it's, it's enough to run both operating systems but it's not going to be enough memory to to keep files pictures any files on both operating systems so I suggest you if you're going to keep it for good I suggest you to get 500 gigabyte hard drive but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use this because this is my test hard drive and I'm making this video for you guys. So um, I'm just going to right click. You're, you're going to click on C drive right here. It's going to highlight uh, if you notice this gray uh, li lining, this gray stroke around the square. Uh, you just want to right click. You want to click shrink volume. Total size before shrink in megabytes. This is the obviously how much gigabytes you have right now in your current hard drive free size of available shrink space in megabytes so this is the maximum am amount of memory that you could partition this hard drive to keep it running smoothly enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes so always remember 1024 megabytes equals one gigabyte currently I'm just gonna partition it to 50 gigabytes so I'm just gonna type five five oh crap. five zero 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 that's 50 gigabytes right there but if you have a a 500 gigabyte hard drive or more I suggest you to at least partition it to 250,000 which is 250 gigabytes right here and total size after shrink in megabytes so this is the amount of memory you're gonna have left after partitioning so I'm just gonna click shrink And right here where it says unlocated, unlocated you want to right click and you want to hit new simple volume. You want to click next, 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 and finish. And it's going to say new volume and then uh, the computer is actually going to detect the new volume. Alright, so you're set for the computer. So what you want to do now is you want to shut down your computer. Once you turn off your computer, you want to turn it back on. So I'm just going to turn mine's back on. And you want to go to the BIOS. And you go to the BIOS by pressing F2, delete, or escape. In my case, it's going to be delete. But your case could be different because every computer is different. So now in the BIOS, you want to go into uh, the tab that says boot, so I'm just going to go to the boot, and then uh, where it says boot device priority, I'm just going to hit that. And right here where it says first boot device, I'm going to make sure it says CD DVD drive because we're going to be booting Windows 8. So once, uh, once, your, um, once your DVD CD drive is selected as your first boot device, you just want to hit escape and you want to go to exit and you want to save changes and exit. But before you uh, before you click o before you hit OK, you want to make sure you want to insert your Windows 8 operating system into your computer. So I'm just gonna open up my DVD drive and I'm gonna insert my operating system. I'm gonna close it. Oh, crap. And now that my CD is already in, I'm gonna hit OK. So now the computer is going to shut down, it's going to reboot, and it's going to automatically go into the CD. So I'm just going to wait.
and it's gonna say press any key to continue so I'm just gonna press the space bar and it's gonna show the Windows 8 uh, logo so in this case it's gonna take like three minutes so I'll be right back now it's gonna once uh, like three to five minutes have passed by uh, it's gonna load the Windows setup window which is which is almost similar to Windows 7 so I'm just gonna select my language my time and my keyboard input I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna click install now and then it's gonna say setup is starting Windows and if you if this is your first time installing Windows 8 it is gonna it is gonna ask you to enter your product key before you even uh, install the operating system. So I'm just gonna enter in my product key and I'll be right back. Once you enter your product key, you wanna hit next and you wanna accept the license terms. Click next and you wanna go to custom install Windows only advance and we're gonna look for the partition that we created earlier so remember how we created 50 gigabytes in my case so right here at the bottom it says uh, 48.8 gigabytes which is 50 gigabytes right here so uh, I'm just gonna click next and then it's gonna be installing so I'll be right back once uh, once any changes have been made in this window your computer will restart at one point and do not press any key do not I repeat do not it's gonna automatically boot into Windows uh, 8 again so uh, you're just gonna wait and right here it's gonna show a window really quickly if you paid attention and just don't don't click anything it's gonna continue uh, installing Windows 8 so don't mess with no options for now then, then it's gonna say getting devices ready and uh, you just have to wait be patient then it's gonna say getting ready so you're gonna wait like around three minutes right here at this point so just be patient after waiting those three through five minutes your computer is gonna restart again and again do not do not repress any key do not then a window like this should pop up uh, you're gonna see your Windows 7 operating system and you're gonna see your Windows 8 operating system we still haven't um, made changes to Windows 8 or anything so we're still gonna go into Windows 8 so it's gonna show a window like this it's gonna say personalize so you just wanna choose any color you want like me I like blue so I'm just gonna choose blue I'm just gonna name my computer test PC for for now since I'm not gonna have this operating system with my hard drive I'm gonna choose my uh, my internet connection I'm gonna enter my password I'm gonna hit connect Uh, I'm just gonna use Express settings for now. Uh, I'm just gonna sign in without a Microsoft account, which is right at the bottom. I'm gonna uh, hit local account, and I'm just gonna create a username. So I'm just gonna type in my name. I'm just gonna create a password real fast. I'm gonna click finish. right here you're gonna wait wait like around one minute through two minutes so just be patient and I'll be right back after that one minute it's gonna go to a window where it says we're getting your PC ready this will take a few minutes so you just want to wait again and now Congratulations, you just installed Windows 7 and Windows 8 on the same hard drive. So I'm just going to go to the desktop and here is Windows 8. 
and to prove it to you guys that you could actually use Windows 8 and Windows 7 I'm just gonna go to settings I'm gonna power off the computer I'm gonna shut it down and I'm gonna wait till it turns off so as you can see here's my computer just gonna wait till it turns off and I'm gonna turn it back you wanna turn on the computer and you wanna go into your BIOS so into and again into go to the BIOS you press F2 escape or delete depending on what type of computer you have so me I have to press delete so now we wanna go into the boot tab you wanna go to boot device priority and where it says first boot device you wanna change it from your CD DVD drive back to your hard drive so I'm gonna do that otherwise it's gonna ask you to press any key to continue if you have any type of CD inside your CD drive so you don't, you don't want that to happen so you, that's why you choose your first boot device as your hard drive so I'm just gonna hit escape I'm gonna go to save changes and exit and hit OK and then your computer is gonna restart This time I'm gonna it's gonna say choose an operating system and this time I'm gonna choose Windows 7. And you're gonna notice that your computer is gonna restart and then it's gonna boot into Windows 7. And I'm gonna prove to you guys that you could go back into Windows 8 with no problem, so I'm just gonna wait till it loads I'm gonna uh, hit start and I'm just gonna restart the computer and like I said I'm gonna choose Windows 8 I'm just gonna drag this picture up and I'm just gonna enter in my password. And as you can see, we're in the start menu. I'm just gonna go to the my desktop and yeah, Windows 8 Pro. And yeah, well, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if this video helped you a lot. It will help me if you subscribe and like more than it help you. Well, thank you for watching this video. This is PSP Slim Hacks. Bye.